A tribal chief in the Solomon Islands says he feels regret and shame after doing business with a mining company operating there. He says his people have not received adequate compensation from the mining and now a ship is grounded on the reef spewing oil into the sea. Pacific Affairs correspondent Michael Mora has the story. The chief of Abatai village, Joshua Nasiu, at home with his granddaughter and wife. He entered into a deal with a mining firm, believing it would lead to a better life. I believe that there's nothing good in this mining. I'm very worried about my family and my tribes because I don't know how to sustain our life. This is now what's on his doorstep, a mining ship chartered by Chinese firm Bintan Mining grounded and leaking oil. There's been another sacrifice, one that's even more personal for Joshua. In a ute paid for by the mining company, he took us to his old village, now just a crater in the red earth. I'm very regret and also I can't believe it because uh, most of the promises are not uh, function well. He allowed the company to dig up his gardens to mine for bauxite used to make aluminium. He says he got just 20,000 Solomon Island dollars or 3,600 New Zealand in return. And as the excavators worked through the night, four of his family's grave plots were also destroyed. It happened, they work overnight and the other day they told me that some machine already dig it. They dug up the graves? Yeah. He says he was compensated for the damaged graves. Bintan Mining has development projects to help support locals. A basketball court and church in one village was paid for by the firm. But there's little evidence of progress in other areas. Is Fred Tang here? Company manager Fred Tang refused an on-camera interview but disputed the $20,000 figure saying Bintan pays much more than that. He said Bintan runs a very decent business and that infrastructure will be implemented in other areas. Joshua doesn't have much hope. You can see by yourselves our standard, our living, our road, our, there's no big changes. He's been trying to negotiate the construction of a kindergarten in his area. Joshua says he'll continue to work with the mining company in the hope his people will eventually see some meaningful, positive change. Michael Mora, News Hub.